ngadlolo gana mia na yanti yata matanya wamatan tanya ko tampandi enga yata nga ngadlo inbarendi wapalaendi pinchandi yalara panago yalcha panago tapa porna poro porna panolo yakko panago yata yongi monain chananko tundari It was just terrifying. Like everyone's so talented and incredible, and where do I belong? Like I'm, I shouldn't be here. I'm not as good as these people. Um, but the programs actually made me feel the opposite. Like it's it shown me that there's room for all of us to create, and we don't need to like dim our light to kind of fit into little boxes. We can yeah. all be stars, and it's been super nice to, I guess, be in this space where it's it's not competitive, it's collaborative, and we all want to see each other succeed. Yeah. And we build each other up. And now, like, I started off feeling not good enough, and now I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not as good as somebody else at this, but yeah. I have my space Different and my skill sets. Yeah, and yeah. I can still thrive in this business. Equalizer is this fun music um, program for people under 25, um, specifically for female and non-binary people. And it's very exciting because it's a collaborative process and it's part of a larger global uh, program as well, which makes you feel more connected to the outside world. People from different creative backgrounds, whether they're into music or dancing or performance art, and we go through all the steps from lyric writing to uh, song recording and filming a music video. Um, for me, I just think the music industry in particular is so male dominated and there's not a huge platform for women or non-binary folk. Yeah. Um, so to have this opportunity kind of exclusive to us, to, ha to have a platform and to build these connections, I think is really important and hadn't really been done enough prior to this. So I think it's a really important initiative. Definitely like being um, creative in a different space like in a way that I'm not used to has been super valuable for me in getting to collaborate with people that even though we're from the same place and we're around the same age and there's a lot of things that are similar about us we're all still very different. It's been really interesting to um, learn about other people's creative streaks mm. and sort of bounce off each other in that way when we're talking about ideas for music videos and for lyrics um, because we all come from different backgrounds, we can kind of, yeah, bounce off each other. One would think that collaboration feels limiting because you're like, oh, if one person gives, that means another person is taking, or like, but it's actually a non-zero-sum game. Everyone puts something in this pool and you just get a lot out of it, all of us, um, which is very exciting. I didn't know that until I did this because it's like, it just expands the potential that you have. With all the mentors that we've had chat to us, like just the ways that you can be creative and like use your platform to, to get a message out there and how important that is. That was something that I feel that I couldn't do that because I wasn't, I didn't, I don't have a platform, I don't have somewhere, but this has shown me that you, you can create that and mm. you can do that. Like one of our songwriting mentors, Nancy Bates, um, I remember her saying in, I think it might have been the second or third week of Equalizer, she said that there's nothing to gain from being small and I think that this is definitely a good testament to that, being such a big project. It was cool to know that everyone was feeling intimidated, but yes, that, that definitely disappeared as people like uh, kind of showed their vulnerability and shared their ideas and like what they think like the same as you going through the same thing mm. and it's really nice to have that connection maybe like post-covid mm. we might all feel like a bit isolated just getting together and sharing something and creating something it's really it's been like a really nice experience and i think someone said like the word healing as well being around people who who you wouldn't normally be around and then seeing yeah <laughs> what we create together i was just like so mind blown because yeah. everyone just like came together and all of a sudden had this like unbelievable song written mm -hmm. and I was just like ah uh, what <laughs> this is so impressive yeah I think it's the connections like yeah I love everyone and we've only known each other for like mm. 
not long at all and like one day a week but it still feels so close we're going to have beautiful friendships that i hope will continue <laughs> um and yeah exciting i love erica and we oh, always talk about <laughs> <laughs> we're always talking about fashion or food yeah we're going to do things after this for sure. yeah i know i've learned how to collaborate in a group especially mm. when it comes to writing a song because i'm a solo artist um coming into it i was actually kind of not shocked but intrigued by the idea because i wasn't sure how mm -hmm. all like these different ideas could cohesively come into one um and it's done so amazingly yeah um and the final product is going to be wicked so yeah i'm keeping everyone to hear it yeah mm -hmm. i think i've learned as well just like where i fit in this kind of industry like um prior to this um program i'd just been doing it all myself like independent yeah. and i didn't really know what my strengths and weaknesses were and i think this program's been a really good way to identify where my skill set lies and what I need to work on, yeah. um, which I might not have noticed if I wasn't collaborating with Still other like-minded people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For personally, for me, that's sort of something that I've taken away is how much I appreciate music and connecting to people through music. And I hope the next round of young people are able to develop that as well, um, because I think that's just a really valuable thing to have in your life. This is that kind of a space where everyone can get together and feel like they're part of a community. That's something that I really needed because I'm an international student and I don't necessarily have that. I have multiple different communities and to have a musical community is very rewarding because I love music. Like you said, like something organized that you can come together and be creative instead of kind of just floating around trying to find your group of people. And in particular, I guess with the like age bracket, it's usually like by this time you've either completed a course or you're working within the industry. It actually it does give you confidence because you see other people in the same space that you're in excelling at what they're doing. So you're like, surely I can do that too. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's inspiring. We started for sure. There was a lot of talk where we were all feeling like that sense of imposter syndrome and like. And I think once I realised that I wasn't the only person feeling that way, we were all kind of feeling that way, which I think not only is common with creative people, but also just with being a young woman, mm. <laughs> is that you have that like feeling of being an imposter and not knowing what you're talking about and you know not feeling valued in that space to so then come into a space where that is the exact reason why you are valuable in that space, like in that creating something together as a team. So yeah. I think that was definitely something I learned about myself that like, I can contribute in this space, even if it's not like the best musical idea or the best lyric ever, even just like my thoughts and ideas, like they are valuable. Yeah. I guess it's just really fun to work on a project together and I've been looking forward to it like every week, Monday comes around, like yeah, sequelizer. And it's all about empowerment and Myself, I'm non-binary, so gender equality is a big, a big deal to me. I think this kind of program gives people experience and confidence in their own practice. It also gives them opportunities to network with new people, especially with the mentors and the people who've been giving us talks, uh, and gives them something to put on their resume as well. <laughs> like, look what we did. Look what we came up with together. It's and come together to make a song, which I find amazing, about empowerment and not letting the world and standards keep us down. The most fun part for me has been meeting different people in the music scene and making connections and friendships that will last a lifetime because that is the type of connection that music provides. It's not one that dies with age. I'm hoping that a, that it will inspire people, um, particularly because this was like a group of strangers initially that came together to um, make this happen and now they're all friends and they're also comfortable around each other and they've made something so wonderful. So um, I hope that people can see um, the potential that, you know, really anyone can come together to collaborate on something creative. Um, I'm hoping that um, people will get the message loud and clear of what the group are trying to say. Um, I think it's definitely really important 
for community. Like it's, I feel like in particular, like, you know, women non-binary groups within like this industry in particular, um, yeah, it can be like difficult to find creatives that you do relate to. Um, important thing I would have to say to myself is that although the music industry is really competitive, it's not actually all about the competition, it's about the collaboration and working with people and uh, not having in your mind that you need to be better than other people, but rather that the whole experience is a lot more beautiful when there are elements from all sorts of different places that come together, like uh, flowers in a garden like how important our voices are and all the things we have to contribute and how like if you're open to new ideas and sharing like how like many great like things can be brought from that yeah yeah and the song itself like i've been singing to myself <laughs> if i feel down or something it gives me courage yeah, it's a really good environment. I think everyone came in really nervous, really shy, as you do, because mm. none of us knew each other at the beginning. Um, but everyone's so lovely and so welcoming and teaching each other things. Mm. Um, and yeah, like you said, because both of us actually are in the entertainment industry and we work in the entertainment industry, I think it's so easy to get caught up in the competitiveness, feeling like you have to one-up everyone. Yeah. Um, but it's really nice to be welcomed and like, I guess applauded in a way for our own uniqueness and how we mm. do our own thing. Um, they're not asking us to change the style that we perform in or the way we dress or anything like that. It's so, so welcoming. A place where people can like teach what they know and like share what they know, but also like gain knowledge in the process too. Um, just like taking that first step into like a collaborative project like this and just simply showing up is like the first step to amazingness because you will learn so much and you'll be able to share stuff too. So